All right, you guys, welcome to February 2022. <laughs> February 2022 is honestly very interesting. It doesn't have as much going on as like the last few months, but the few things that it does have going on are very interesting and I personally think exciting. It's definitely a month that's gonna shake some shit up, okay? So basically in this video, we are gonna go over the astrology of February 2022 and what's coming for all of our asses, no matter what sign you are. This is the collective astrology. So these are trends that we could see in our lives, in the world, etc. based on astrology and my interpretation of the upcoming transits this month. Also the sign horoscopes for February will be coming out in the next week. So definitely make sure you are on the look out do one video with all the signs they are always time stamped so you can just jump right to your sign so make sure when you see that video come out that you watch your horoscope for this month and if you're new here my name is tawny michelle i'm just a weirdo out here doing astrology videos and shit make sure to comment down below you guys it really helps these videos out if you comment down below it's like the easiest way that you can show support for these videos and it's free <laughs> and uh it will help other people see these videos which you know they may need to see them you never fucking know you know and as always if you you'd like to get exclusive content weekly in-depth astrology lives where we dive deep into the current astrology each week so you know on a day-to-day -day basis what to expect and also what's going on in the world and how it correlates where we can be really uncensored and talk about anything and not have to worry about censorship or just judgmental ass people um <laughs> tons of other stuff make sure to sign up for my patreon down below you can find the link anyways let's go ahead and get into february you're in aquarius season aquarius a lot of the times it's kind of pegged as like the rebel, the outsider, etc. And although sometimes it can veer that way, it can express that way, it's not always that way. But <laughs> this Aquarius season, it is definitely that way. I'm gonna explain why here in a sec. So we are in Aquarius season until February 18th when the sun moves into Pisces. So for the first few weeks of February, we are in Aquarius season, meaning the sun is traveling through the sign of Aquarius. The sun is farthest from home in Aquarius because Aquarius is the opposite sign of Leo and Leo is where the sun is at home and the reason why Aquarius is the opposite sign to Leo and the reason why the sun is farthest from home here is because we are in the middle of winter in the northern hemisphere and even though we are in Aquarius season though Capricorn the season that we were just in is not done with our asses yet okay that really is like the theme of February is we have a lot going on in Aquarius well not a lot but we have some stuff going on in Aquarius and we have a lot going on in Capricorn still like Capricorn is the star of the show these first few months of 2022 okay it's got a lot going on in it that we're going to talk about really the last month like the first month of 2022 has been really about going back to the drawing board going back to our foundations our goals what we want what we are building in our lives what we want to build in our lives the foundations and roots that we are laying down we went back we've gone back and we've been reflecting with all these retrogrades of venus retrograde mercury retrograde all in capricorn we went back and we've gotten to the root of issues and we've also likely realized that we've been playing small where have we been playing small where have we been actually not building what we want to be building right now we may have this realization in february like damn we've been kind of ripping ourselves off in a way you know what i mean like we went back to reflect on what the hell the issue was and then we realized like oh hold on this is not what i want this is not what i want to commit to actually i deserve more actually i'm gonna go bigger or actually i've been playing it small we're going back we're realizing this and we're realizing also it's time to start running shit. why because mars is in capricorn it entered into capricorn the very end of january and so we will have mars and capricorn all of February 2022. This is awesome. This is great. It is a time of determination. It is a time of really putting an action on our goals, putting an action on what we want to build. It is a time of like work bitch, boss bitch type of energy. We are getting organized. We are really putting in the effort, the action. We are determined to get to where we want to go, to lay down the foundations we want to lay down, to build what we want on top of them. We've also been really reflecting a lot on our future, our goals, what we want long-term, what we are going for long-term, what we're building long-term, and if it's stable, if it's secure, or if we need to do more to make it stable or make it secure. So we've been going under this massive reconstruction period 
period in January. And as we enter February, that is finally starting to end where we are no longer going through this reconstruction. We're now moving into the second month where we've replanned, but now we are progressing on top of that plan. But I think like the first part of February, like the first couple weeks of February is really about managing shit, determination, responsibility, accountability. It's also very rebellious because we will also be having some Uranian energy because Mars will be trining Uranus until February 8th. That's going to give us a very rebellious, rebellious, innovative, innovative rebuilding and future focused energy. We're really going to be feeling excited about something that we're building or something that we're doing, a goal that we have or something that we've been working on. And we could really see that in the world as well, where we're seeing a lot of rebellious energy. We're seeing a lot of like exciting energy. Another really cool thing about this is that everything is direct after February 3rd when Mercury goes direct. And Mercury is also going to be conjunct Pluto the first like week or so until February 12th. And so I also see the first few weeks of February really being about big secrets, deep conversations, deep information, dark information, whistleblowing, truth bombs. Another way that I've seen Mercury Pluto play out a lot is like not being afraid to say things that are a little bit more like raunchy or like a little bit like a little bit more taboo or like being less scared to really speak your truth or to be authentic in the way that you express yourself, even if it's like deep, dark, taboo or like something you wouldn't normally be able to like say or like have the balls to say like the first couple weeks of february are really bringing that kind of energy so also the first few days of february like the first three days of february the sun is going to be moving across saturn so we're going to have a saturn kazemi which is basically when a planet meets with the sun and so saturn's going to be meeting with the sun and so the first three days we could really be feeling a little bit like pessimistic, negative, restrictive, like something's holding us back, delayed, like, or there's just a sense of heaviness, like, and we also have the Aquarius new moon happening pretty close to Saturn as well on February 1st, right as we start the month. And so I think that that's gonna be possibly like something really hitting us, like some kind of realistic perspective. Like we, like I said, we've been going back and doing all this reflecting, reconstructing, redoing, rebuilding in terms of the first month of 2022. And as we enter February, we kind of get this really realistic perspective and point of view on where we want to progress forward, what we're doing and where we want to go and how to progress. And it, it really seems kind of to me like a reality check, but also showing us where we may need to break free, where we have felt restricted or where we need to move forward in a serious way, but also in a way that is going to lead to more freedom and liberation because during this new moon in Aquarius, we have Mars trining Uranus, at least starting to trine Uranus. And so there is a bit of excitement still with this, even though there's like a serious tone. So it's, it's very interesting. There's like a lot of future focused energy with like a reality check kind of energy, getting real about where we can progress and where we can go and what we see for our future versus not being real about it, I guess. Like you get what I mean. Now with that being said, I see the first two weeks of February really about breaking free, rebellion, like I said, innovation, progress, eccentricity, future focus kind of shit, like possibly some intensity, some intense conversations or intense information being learned, some intense revelations, things being revealed, deep insights and really shaking shit up. I feel like maybe there may be some kind of restrictions trying to be opposed, whether in our personal life or on like a larger scale collectively in a country or something like that. But there may be some kind of like rules or restrictions on people, censorship, things like this kind of being exposed with this new moon in Aquarius, but I don't think it's going to go without a fight because this new moon is, is kind of passing a square to Uranus at the same time. And we have all this Uranian energy. And so it's like, we're getting serious. There's like a serious and sober tone, but there's also a tone of like, we we're not doing this. Right. And I also feel like this new moon in Aquarius is showing us where we are different or we're starting something new based on feeling a little bit on the outside or like an outsider. And so I think this new moon can also be a lot about embracing our differences, embracing what makes us unique, embracing what we think that 
we are cursed with, that actually is a gift. A lot of the times we try to repress our differences and the things that we think make us stick out or look weird or that we're gonna be judged for, when really like that's exactly what makes us unique and that's what we need to embrace. And by embracing it, the right people will find us, et cetera. And so, and we will feel more empowered. We will feel more authentic. Another thing that I could see this really bringing up the first couple weeks are human rights topics, protest, like massive protests. I mean, it's a time of the people with Aquarius. It's like, this is about the people. This is about the outcasts. This is about groups of people, classes of people, social issues, etc. So we could also see those types of things coming up. So then on the 12th, we have Venus and Mars, like really getting into their conjunction and they will be moving forward through all of February in the sign of Capricorn together, which is really interesting because Venus and Mars, like in mythology, Aphrodite and Eris, right? And so, so we kind of have this couple, right? Like they're, they're two opposites, masculine energy and feminine energy. So we have these two joining, which is kind of joining their energies, which is really awesome. And so with this, a lot of times we can usually see like a fight for like women's rights or something like that, right? Because it's a fight. Mars and with Venus, it's like women, you know what I mean? But on the other side of that, we can also see this being really great for going after our desires. Like not only do we have Venus to give us like the desires, the pleasure, what we want, right? Like what what beautiful thing or what, what desires we have. We also have Mars, the motivation, the action, the determination, the ambition to back it up. And so I really, really like this conjunction, I think it's going to really add like these two opposing energies and really help us integrate both our masculine and feminine energies together, especially because they're moving through the sign of Capricorn. And so I really like this for being very determined with our goals, being very determined to go after what we want, to go after what we desire in terms of the long run, the future, our future goals and where we, what we want to build in our lives. I also see this being a pretty big time for like politics, big businesses, big corporations, we could just see a lot of these things becoming a pretty big topic starting out <laughs> with all this stuff in Capricorn. Usually it does bring up the topic of big corporations, big industries, powerful people, big businesses, and like a lot of talk about those things. We could see, you know, with Venus and Mars, relationship scandals, sex scandals, you know, money scandals, things like that. So watch out for topics like that, especially in the month of February, really even from the end of January moving into February. But yeah, then on the 14th, we have Mercury moving back into Aquarius for the second and final time. So uh, it's been retrograding. It started retrograding in Aquarius, very, very close to Saturn, and then moved back into Capricorn and has been hanging out with Pluto and Capricorn. And then it will move back forward again into Aquarius on the 14th. And so that is definitely going to be going back over the things that we've learned here and really starting to see them from a new point of view. Likely, you know, there's been something that we've been reflecting on or that we've gotten back to the root issue on, like where it started and having a chance to do something differently about it. And so then on February 16th, we have the Leo full moon, which is just bringing all the drama. <laughs> this is really going to be a full moon about, you know, what makes you different, right? Uh, embracing individuality, humor, creativity, courage, your heart, entertainment. You know, it can also be very exciting as well with this uh, Leo full moon. But the really crazy thing about this Leo full moon though is it's hitting the US's chart like big time. This Leo full moon is hitting the US's chart like a mother effer, man. Like this is a really crazy full moon for the US. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen. It may be a big deal, it may not be. We may see something happen, we may not, I don't know. I'm just putting it out there that the synastry for the US's chart with this Leo full moon literally looks insane okay it's happening right on like the sun will be right on the us's moon in aquarius right at the time of this full moon and the moon will be in the us's ninth house i could see this you know having something to do with the supreme court or a law or something to do with like court or the judicial system or 
a law or regulation or, or something like that, a rule even. And this is happening like almost right at the same time as the first exact hit of the US's Pluto return, which is happening on February 20th which is the first hit. I really went like over the Pluto return in my 2022 predictions video. Definitely go check that out if you haven't already. But this looks like a really interesting full moon. I could see something being made public here. Uh, this full moon is also going to be in a square with the transiting nodes in Taurus and Scorpio in the sixth and 12th house. And so I think this is definitely gonna be a time where there's a lot of possibly information coming out to, you know, through media, et cetera. Maybe like there may even be like a challenge that happens here uh, with the square to the nodes of like, okay, what are we gonna do here? You know, or what, what we, what we're trying to do is somehow in conflict with the nodes in the sixth and twelfth house, which the sixth house is about health and work and day-to-day -day shit, and the twelfth house is about isolation, escapism, institutions like hospitals and prisons. So this could be very interesting. I'm not, like I said, I'm not exactly 100% sure what could go on here, but it looks very, very interesting. With the US's Pluto return happening exact on February 20th for the first time, I also really feel like, you know, American values are really being called into question. Obviously the economy, resources, currency, inflation, all of those things as well are really being um, brought up and like, it's like, okay, it's time to fucking deal with this. And how are we going to deal with this? And are we going to upgrade? Are we going to do something different? Are we going to tear everything down and redo or what, what's happening? And so I think those are going to be some of the really big questions that are starting to be asked. You know, we could start seeing hints of that this month around February 20th. You know, it may not be exactly on the day, but you know, we should start seeing clues as to what this Pluto return for the U.S. is going to really start dredging up. You know, a Pluto return always promises to reveal corruption and shit that needs to go or change in some way. With it being in Capricorn, a sign dealing with industries and companies and big businesses and organizations and governments and leaders and people in power and you know, Pluto and Capricorn specifically, I, I really see is kind of like the elite and resources and it being in the US's second house of resources and money. I definitely think those topics are really being called into question and we've already been seeing a lot of that anyway. So yeah, so this should be a really interesting Leo full moon happening like four days before that exact hit. But we'll see what comes up, but be on the lookout. And if you see anything, definitely let me know. So also for this Leo full moon, just more on a personal level, like the next day, Jupiter is gonna be sextiling Uranus. So we're really going to be feeling that even before by that Leo full moon. So this is really going to be like an exciting, optimistic, hopeful energy in the air with this Leo full moon. <laughs> but uh, I mean, like I said, there can also be some drama or challenge depending on how it's hitting your chart, how you're perceiving it and all of that. So not everyone may feel it 100% that way. But I'm going to be doing a separate video on the Leo full moon. So don't worry, we'll talk more in depth about that then. And then on the 18th, the sun will move into Pisces and it will be Pisces season. And yeah, that is basically the astrology for February. So like I said, the first two weeks of February really seem to be about breaking free, possibly certain reality checks, getting innovative and figuring out a solution or a way forward, rebellion, progress, eccentricity. It could also bring up a lot of social themes, social issues, human rights, protest, shaking shit up, deep insights, deep information being revealed, deep conversations, truth bombs. Also really a lot of determination, managing shit, going after our desires, and then some of that kind of bleeds over into the second half. We'll still have that Venus Mars conjunction happening for the whole month. So there will be a lot of determination and going after our desires and going after our wants, really like managing shit and bossing up and stuff like that. But then we'll also have some other kind of energy coming in with Mercury moving back into Aquarius where we are starting to really learn these mercurial lessons of Aquarius, topics of social, social issues, our social lives, social media, censorship, topics of censorship could definitely come up. And then we have that Leo full moon on the 16th, like just really bringing in some drama and some, some exuberance in some way and possibly something big for the US coming out around that time. Then we have the Pluto return for the US where we could kind of start seeing clues as to what this Pluto return is really going to be bringing up and yeah and then we move into Pisces season and you know the focus kind of shifts with the Sun in Pisces 
where we are definitely more focused on the emotional realm, the internal realm, the intuitive realm. And with Jupiter and Pisces and the sun moving across Jupiter, just a sense of hope and optimism and unity. Although March itself, you know, which is part of Pisces season is going to be crazy. There's some crazy stuff coming in March, so be prepared for that. Uh, <laughs> so it's definitely not like the worst month. I wouldn't say it's like the best month, but there's some like exciting and interesting themes kind of tied through it, but also a little bit of like sober, serious reality check type of thing. So alrighty, you guys, that is it for February's astrology. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. If you did, leave me a lightning bolt emoji down below if you stayed through this whole video. If you did, I appreciate you. Thank you. And yeah, I will be coming out with the February sign horoscopes within the next week. So definitely make sure that you're on the lookout. Make sure you're just, you're subscribed and that your notifications are on so you don't miss that. Please make sure to like this video and comment on it before you leave. I'd really, really appreciate it. If you have any other questions or want to learn more about anything, just see the description below and I will see you guys in my other videos. Bye.